हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू गेट अ जॉब फास्टर हाउ यू कैन गेट अ जॉब दे आर आर कपल ऑफ पॉइंट्स दैट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सो लेट्स बी लिटिल ब्लैंड हायरिंग इज अ रियली अफेयर प्रोसेस इट इज नॉट राइट सो गेटिंग एट इज जॉब इज अ मोर अ सेल्स प्रोसेस यू नीड टू यू नो प्रोसो सम वन हु कैन गिव यू सटन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड ऑल्सो यू नो देर रेपुटेशन इज एट स्टेक लाइट ऑन अ लाइन इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ रिजल्ट सो दे आर गिविंग यू सैलरी इन एक्सचेंज टू गेट सम वर्क डन एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट दे आर शोइंग सम ट्रस्ट विद यू नो फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक टेक डिस्कस द एम्प्लॉय माइंड सेट सो यू हैव सीन सो मेनी टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द जॉब्स दे आर आस्किंग फॉर एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज दे नीड सम प्रूफ एंड ट्रस्ट सो टू बिल्ड दिस ट्रस्ट आई विल से टू गेन सम एक्सपीरियंस and now this can be little controversial why because a fresher how can they have some experience but you while studying you can build some experience maybe you can write an article maybe you can do some voluntary work maybe you can participate in your cultural activities in your university or a college and when someone in interview ask you that do you have prior experience share these additional activities right and if you get some internship work i'll say get it and initially don't put so many filters to get a job right whatever is coming your way try to take that any opportunity is got good opportunity transitioning from one role to another role is little sim- simple rather than getting all together a new job additionally it helps you to upskill yourself second is point is how you can use a linkedin to your advantage always have a good account on your linkedin now here i wanted to share a fact that chances of getting a job via linkedin are less i know this is hard but instead use linkedin to your advantage ha huh? first you know try to get some good reference from there you can take a advice from linkedin but there is one example i am sharing is that which is purely a wrong way to approach some wrong way example is that is there any opportunity in your organization can you let me know if there is an opening in your company a totally wrong way because no one knows that even if they are working there they don't have a full visibility instead what could be a good answer you can use it to your advantage you got some interview Uh, offer or maybe you have applied there you wanted to know about their interview process then you can tell x y person you know i have applied your company and can you please let me know what is the structure of interview in your company this one point or you can request them for their referral example you you know you found a job and there is a job code also for that you can reach out to xy person and saying that greetings as uh, sir ma'am you know i have seen this job is open in your organization may you please refer me give them job code i think anyone will be more than happy to refer anyone right and similarly i still remember one of the you know smartest thing my friend has done uh, when we were preparing for this medical writing jobs and we got interview call and see uh, she smartly approached a few people over a linkedin couple of people then what will be the structure of a written test you know because we have received an interview call she shared like okay um and first you will be given this and second stage this will be happening and now we are knowing about their interview structure and the structure of a written test be prepared right so this is how you can use for your advantage right another thing is that i would say that whenever you are applying modify your cv please don't use the same cv or cv of your friends for all the jobs change it now changing cv is not difficult job pull out the job description find out what they are trying to find it and put that in your cv rearrange it and put that in your cv because most of the time the cvs are screened by keywords and your cv will be only screened if it is having a keywords of that job description so for, because of course first are uh, you know objective is to getting on the door you can get on the door if you have used the right cv 
so spend some work you know and uh, change your cv modify it according to the job role and always be ready for interview it's not like tomorrow you are getting a call today uh, you are preparing because two things can't go together thinking and answering you should already been having good solid answers in your diary you should be knowing yourself before an interview right what are your strength what is your weakness maybe these are question not asked straight for you they can ask you what is the difficult challenge that you have faced in your life yeah or how you have overcome of a difficult situation then if you are already thought about it you have example good example written in your diary it will take you few second to pull out that example and then discuss it in your during interview otherwise you know what will happen you will go blank which no one is expecting right so just make or a list of all these things in your diary when you are having an interview revisit it and respond and i am thinking to you know make another video how you can uh, develop your own bio and can be ready all the times for an interview and the last point i wanted to touch on is negotiation negotiation is very good thing and you will see the long term effects of good negotiation now mostly negotiation happens after you got an offer and most of time what happens people are so happy to get a job and they feel awkward to you know for the idea of a negotiation uh, they never try but i'll say consider it negotiation is not only about money negotiations can be done for multiple things like maybe remote working flexible working that's one example or asking for additional responsibility which can upskill you you know and even if you have not discussed before interview once you got a job you can also discuss these things like okay i am maybe working now in a pharmaco business but my also interest in a writing so um, is there a possibility can i get get involved in that kind of work right so you can showcase your interest like when i was initially started my job i was in a clinical operation but when i joined like anyone i have not done any negotiation right but when i joined and then i discussed my with my boss is that i i i like writing that is there any way that i can help you out she immediately said oh we are writing new protocol for upcoming project uh, i am more than happy if you can help me there right but that only happened once i showed my interest right so then from next day onwards she started giving me few small small work like okay pull out the information from that side uh, do this work or reframe this and this is how i gained my writing experience while working in a clinical operations so uh, these are the fundamentals that i have discussed i hope this video is helpful right so um, and thank you so much thanks for watching turn on the notifications and do subscribe rise and shine channel for getting such valuable contents